at Eastbourne in British League Racing for his club Wolverhampton. Heat 14. Everson off the inside in red with Christoph Kasperzak gate two in blue. Hancock unbeaten so far off three. Bachelor off the outside in yellow. Quite a lineup here for heat number 14 in Courgeot. Yeah, fabulous lineup. The two boys on the inside, two gates, obviously home favourites. And uh, I'm sure the Poles will be cheering for Kasperzak. It's between Kasperzak and uh, Hancock, of course. Kasperzak got the better of him in Dog Appeals a couple of weeks ago, but. Hancock makes such fabulous starts. Can he produce one from gate three here again now? Heat number 14. Everson's made a good one and so has Kasper Zakov too. Now Hancock is going to try and go through the middle and around the outside. Oh! oh that's that's a nasty crash. crash! Down the back straight. Hancock and Everson go down. Let's hope they're going to be okay. Hancock's got his arm caught in the back of the bike. Yeah, that's a nasty one. Just got it out. Very awkward crash. He saw it coming. Hand injury possibly there for Hancock, the championship leader. Drama, drama coming out of turn two in the opening lap there. Everson losing control. Concern for Hancock. Well, he read that. You saw yeah, him trying did. to get off the bike so quickly. Everson just looking for too much grip. He's still strewn on the track. Good to see him up and about. And Greg Hancock there clearly. Clearly in a little bit of a stake of shock over that, but he did react remarkably quickly as they came out of the uh, out of the first corner. Well, Hancock, will he be okay? I'm sure he had his place. hand trapped, didn't he? And he was desperately trying to release it from the bike. I'm not quite sure exactly where it was, but what a nasty incident down the back straight. And Everson still being attended on the track. Yeah, Everson lying down on the back straight now. Let's hope he's going to be okay. It was uh, a nasty looking tumble. We keep our fingers crossed, of course, uh, for Niels, hugely popular rider, as is this man, Greg Hancock. And um, I do believe the uh, arm has gone up for an ambulance to come out onto the track here now. Uh, chanting his name here in Korshoff, but that was a nasty one at a high speed down the back straight as well. Um, he is conscious. We'll see it again, Nice Tapes up. Bites going roaring towards the first corner. Initially, it's Kasperzak. Kasperzak goes very wide in the first corner. Everson then gets too much grip coming off the corner here, and the bike just goes straight across. Look at uh, Hancock. Desperately gets his hand caught on the back tyre of Everson, and that causes a problem. And then subsequently gets his, his arm and hand caught in his own machine. Watch it now. He's desperately trying to get down. And it's there, just there. The oh. hand gets pulled in on um, uh, back tyre of Everson. Very awkward crash. Very awkward crash. And clearly, Everson very uncomfortable. A knee injury, possibly. But the hand of Hancock getting sucked underneath the uh, mud guard, the rear mud guard. There now. Tars pulling him in, pulling him off the bike. Look, his whole arm's gone in there. That is dramatic. Well. I hope both boys are going to be okay here. Look at his arm there. Look, oh, that's awful. Awful. Yeah. And with yeah. the new regulation, that's going to be uncomfortable. You can see he's in some pain. Well, for that's... the record, Niels Christian Everson is disqualified. And no that is surprise. just a pure racing accident. Absolutely nothing that either rider could have done about that. No, and just that little bit of extra drive he got coming off the first corner. And with the new regulations, it's been in for a couple of years now, they've lowered the level of the uh, rear mud guards to stop that happening, and that clearly didn't stop it. His arm got sucked in underneath the um, uh, mud guard. A round of applause for Everson, who has uh, been put on the stretcher, clearly in a lot of discomfort, but uh, concern for both riders. Hancock back in the paddock, but I still think he's suffering. Yeah. Well two top guys as well Hancock's going to be seen to by the doctor here and Greg Hurt here Ty missing tonight through can injury you it? can you believe it Nigel? Neil's everything, hurt everything going so silkily smoothly yeah there's problems there when you see the replay oh. of how hard his arm got sucked in underneath the mud guard of uh, Niels Christian Everson and as I reiterate modern day regulations the rear mud guard has to be almost touching the tire to stop that from happening and it didn't and therefore yeah. probably made the the situation worse far from ideal well we've had a great speedway meeting here so far and uh, never nice to see an incident like that and uh, i think he's got a hand injury uh, everson 
Yeah, there's, there's issues there, either a, a, a finger dislocated or something not quite right with Greg Hancock. Yeah, he's in a lot of pain there, isn't he, Greg? And this is not good to see. He's in a lot of discomfort. Oh, yeah. Um, not good to see, no. Um, and it is, it, it does upset you immensely when you see such nice guys riding at the top of their game. He was so desperately trying to avoid the back of Everson, but just couldn't keep out of the way. He was actually pushing the handbar down. In effect, that actually caused the problem for him because that's when the, the left hand actually got pulled in by the rear tyre of Everson. And wouldn't surprise me that he's got a, some sort of dislocation to a finger or something along that, that sort of order, but concern also for Everson. Looked like he may have twisted a knee or gone down there. He certainly felt for it straight away. Good to see him moving around, possibly talking there, but a nasty incident. Yeah, fingers crossed for Niels and for Greg. Um, not good at all. Never good to see any type of crash in Speedway. And that's why guys like me that started watching Speedway as a, as a kid on the terraces have got just uh, ultimate respect for everybody who gets on a Speedway bike. Um, Greg still clearly in a lot of discomfort here. And um, the talk of the sport right now, unfortunately, is of course the injuries. Uh, with Ty Woffenden missing this meeting due to a broken bone in his hand. Here we see it again. See, he puts the bike down, but he can't... It just pulls him in. In effect, in effect, that could have made it worse. He's, he's then, that is awful. Now you see the full extent of that. really is awful. Oh, dear, oh, dear. I, I'd be very surprised if either rider is able to ride again tonight. Still trapped there. Still trapped. Yeah, you saw him desperately trying to remove it see it oh no that's yeah that's not good to see I, I think it unlikely he'll be able to ride again look at that 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 is going to be extremely uncomfortable if he hasn't broken a finger or dislocated a finger that will be remarkable or well, could he, it be an arm injury as well you no, know it's hand injury Nigel. definitely yeah. hand well but that new rule what I was saying the new rule with the the, 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 the mud guards to be lowered was to stop that after Nicky Pedersen and also Jason Crump getting those bad burns, burns when yeah, they got yeah. their arms sucked in under the mudguard. You saw him there actually destroying the fixing of the mudguard and pushing the mudguard out of the way. So fierce was the force of the rear tyre spinning of Niels Christian Everson. Unfortunate incident, very unfortunate, but I think it's a minor miracle if either of them... I can't